that's what the system is too well, No, I no, no. I want your mom. I want your mom's phone you number. Phone number. I want your mom's phone number so I can call your mom like you call me from my phone, mom's phone number. Because, like I said, you're a scam and you're calling me from my mom's phone number. Yet you tell me your name's Sam and you're calling me from Orange County, California. Yet it's my mom's phone number, which is a local number. And you think I'm going to be okay with that. So may I please have your mom's phone number so I can call her up and basically scam her. Because obviously that's what you're doing right now. You're using my mom's phone number to try to scam me. And I would... It's not a scam. I mean, we're working with like top 25 latest companies for auto insurance. So if we are not the one who provide you the codes. We what we do is that we just connect you with our licensed person, and they're the one who provide you the codes now. Okay. So you're calling me with my mom's phone number to scam me in some kind of auto insurance, but you're telling me you're from California and you're not doing anything illegal. Yet you called me from my mother's phone number, and you're trying to tell me that my mom's number is being used to call everybody. Yet she no no time gave anybody permission. Not like that. It's exactly like that. You called me from my mom's no, phone number. number. You called me from my mom's phone number. Oh, so you guys are singling me out. So you're singling me out knowing that I'll only answer my mom's phone numbers. So they're calling me with my mom's phone numbers to pretend they're my mom to sell me car insurance. Does that sound right to you, Sam? Or does that sound like you're full of crap? It sounds like you're full of crap. Okay, well, that's fine. What I can do is, uh, the only thing I can do for you is... I no, no, I want your mom's phone number. I want your mom's phone number so I can call her to sell her things that she doesn't need, that she's never going to get from me, because if you can scam me, then I can scam her, right? Because you're okay with using my mom's phone number to call me to scam me, but it's not okay for me to call your mom to scam her, correct? That's what you're telling me. I'm just telling you, I'm the, I can, what I can do for you is I'm Do you even have a conscience? Do you, do you understand by lying to me, you're committing an ultimate sin, right? You're actually creating a crime right now that you can be prosecuted for. And because you're in that company, the company will not take any responsibility for your actions, which means because you called me with my mom's phone number, that's a felony, by the way. And because nobody gave you permission to use her number, when and she uses that number. So, wait, wait, are you gonna call me from my grandmother's number next, or my sister's number, or maybe my, my son's phone number, or maybe my wife's phone number, and because they're, it's okay because you're calling me directly, right? Yeah. That's what you're telling me, Sam. Yes, you can, you can give me your mom's phone number. Thank you. You can give me your mom's phone number, my friend, because you obviously are lying to me, so I want your mom's phone number so I can call her and sell her a bunch of crap that it's a scam. So I want your mom's phone number. I think it's only fair. You use my mom's number so I get your mom's number. Don't you think that's fair? Sam? Yep, I think it's fair, Sam. I know you're still on. So tell me, Sam, is it okay for you to call me using my mom's phone number telling me that the company that you're calling from is calling me and it's okay for them to call me because it's my mom's phone number? That makes no sense to me whatsoever there, Sam. Oh, I think... Well, Sam, like I said, at least I wasted 10 minutes of your time. <laughs> wow, that one was an interesting one. Sorry I didn't get you guys on right away for that. It's okay for them to use somebody else's phone number to call you because they're they're calling directly you. That's what they were telling me. He's off now. I have I hung up the phone, but tell me that's not a crock of crap that you've ever heard. So they're using people's phone numbers. No, it was not my mom's phone number. <laughs> Anybody that knows me knows that wasn't my mom's phone number. But they don't know that. But they did call me from a local number, then try to tell me that it's okay to call from that local number. I wonder whose number they called me from anyway. So should we uh, call the number back? I think we should. Give me a second, everybody. 
I'm going to call that number back and let y'all listen whose number it really is. Because, like I said, they, um, they think it's okay to call using people's phone numbers. And we'll even see if the person's even aware of it. The number you have reached is not in service. Oh, it's a not in service this number. Is a <laughs> so, in other words, they use people's phone numbers to call us. It's a scam. I don't care who they are anymore. If I want something, I'll go on the web to find it. And then I'm going to do a little research to make sure they're legit. I, you know, this stuff coming in on text messaging and phones, it's the perfect criminal activity, mob activity, freaking, I wouldn't be surprised if gangs start doing it because they're making a fortune scamming people and it's not right. Don't let them take advantage of you, everybody. All right, gotta go, everybody. Bye.